if we overcome boundaries in education, we will overcome boundaries through education. And I will give you a few examples of people who have inspired me, real teachers. This is my mentor, Robert Schmitz from Frankfurt. When I was a, a trainee teacher, he showed me how to overcome boundaries between teaching and learning because there are lots of ways how to make students teachers in the classroom, teach each other, learning through teaching. That raised my awareness. This is Mike Soskel from Pennsylvania, USA. He showed me how to overcome geographical boundaries in education. His primary school students are connected to 70 different countries through video conferencing. And they talk to experts. If they want to know something about water quality, they will contact an expert in another country. And they are also connected to the International Space Station. Because of him, I was encouraged to contact Cindy Wimagona, a South African author. And my students are going to have an interview with her via Skype two, two days from now, on Monday. This is Nancy Burrell. I met her in Boston. She's a wonderful teacher and she's my personal Michelle Pfeiffer because like in Dangerous Minds, she helped overcome gang, overcome gang crime in her community. And she makes her students interesting in literature and what they can get out of literature for their personality. Nathan Bowling is a teacher I met in Kansas, USA at the Lowell Milken Center for Unsung Heroes. And he's my role model for overcoming boundaries in education with regards to fighting discrimination for teachers and students of color. Alexandra Harper from Australia is my personal role model for putting teacher and student well-being and happiness first in the classroom. And this inspiring woman is called Bijal Damani from India, and she's a sales teacher. And she doesn't only teach her students to do sales theoretically, but she goes out with them and makes them sell things on a bazaar. And they earn money. And she asked them, what do you want to do with this money? And first they said, okay, let's have a party. Let's spend it all on cake. And she said, you know, with these $130 that we raised first, we could provide education for one Indian child who otherwise wouldn't have an education. And her students were all in and they spent that money on this. By now, she and her students have raised $100,000 and helped 1,500 students to have an education and not become child laborers in India. When she told me this, she also said, Mareike, Imagine if we all did this. If we all did this, there wouldn't be any child without an education in the world. So these are real people. And real people can be real inspiration. And because they are real, you can look at them through your eyes and take the inspiration out of it that you and your student, students need. And I think that's why it's important to share these real stories and also to look at what the media can do. Share these stories, make documentaries of them, make movies out of them, write in-depth articles of them. If you're a journalist, please do this. And why not, please, add an education section to our newspapers? We have entertainment, we have sports, and we have real estate. Excuse me.